Hi, Krista. Hi, Ismail. So tell us how you feel uh, this difficult time. We're doing well. Um, I work from Washington, D.C. and I have been working remote all week um, as our office in the U.S. is and uh, we're doing fine. Uh, how do you organize your work and your life? The trick for me is to keep regular working hours just like I would at the office. I think it's important to remain, you know, continuity for coworkers to know I'm available. Um, but also for my own mental health to be able to stop at the regular working time and focus on work, um, on life at home. So um, that's how I've been doing it. And uh, I also have a designated workspace at home to um, you know, make sure that I'm comfortable and well set up with good posture so that uh, I can uh, you know, remain healthy in the long run. Do you have any advice to share with uh, your OCP colleagues uh, around the world? Sure. I think it's really important to keep that regular routine as much as you can. Um, keeping those regular work hours, having a designated workspace. You know, it's really tempting just to work from your couch at the beginning uh, to get comfortable, but in the long run, like your neck might hurt, you have low back issues. So find that designated workspace. Um, and then, you know, take a break when you need to. I'm sure your colleagues are in the same situation. So if you need to take five minutes and WhatsApp with them to, to share what's going on with you, that's, uh, that's just fine. One of the benefits of working from home. Thank you very much, Krista, and stay safe. Thanks, you too.